Hey, what's up everybody? Tonight we're going to take a look at the Swag Cycle Envy. This is from a company called Swagtron. You can pick this up right now on Amazon.com. Link down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. This thing is available for $350. This is an electric bike that you can see obviously has no pedals. Instead, it has foot pegs. Now, on paper, this thing, they say, can go up to 10 miles at 9 miles an hour. However, I will say that in real world usage, I'm getting closer to like six miles, not the 10 miles that they say, but I'm also going a whole lot faster than what they say. They say nine miles an hour. Uh, that's if you're going pretty slow. This thing is capable of going pretty regularly around 16 to 20 miles an hour. 16 if you're fully gunning it, 20 if you're going down just a slight decline. So this thing is capable of going a lot faster than what they claim in their ads. Um, so this thing is a whole lot of fun. Uh, it's rated to be able to carry somebody up to 264 pounds, but you can definitely uh, put somebody a little bit heavier on it because this is made out of a steel frame. They do have an aluminum frame version that's a little bit more expensive, and there's also a pro version that's uh, capable of going up to 18 miles an hour. So my guess is that that one will actually go even faster than that. So. This thing has been a lot of fun. I've been riding it for about a week and a half now. It turns a lot of heads, I will say that. You will look a little bit ridiculous while you're riding this. I will be completely honest with you there, but I will say it is awesome for commuting. If you just have a short trip, maybe you need to run somewhere, quick two miles, this thing is perfect for that. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun. It's kind of like an alternative to an electric scooter. Um, you know, I have an electric scooter. I have one called the Xiaomi Mi. I think it's called 365. A lot of fun. That thing does not have the kind of power that this has. I can easily go up a pretty steep grade with this thing at about 10 miles an hour, not having to give it any kind of assistance. Whereas with my scooter, my electric scooter, I got to give it some extra assistance just to get up the hill. So this thing has a lot of power. So let's go ahead and take a look around the uh, e-bike and see what all it has to offer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look around the Swag Cycle Envy. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start out with the handlebars. So you can see we have our brake um, that is connected up to our disc brakes down here. So very nice disc brakes work very well. We have our kickstand right down here. And on the back, we have a little reflector. Now this is an actual LED light. This one is just a reflector. Uh, we have our seat. It's not super adjustable, so that maybe could be a complaint. Um, if you like it a little bit higher, unfortunately, there's really no way to to lift that up of course you could put in a different kind of seat that does have that ability uh, but the one that com it comes with does not really have the ability to go up at all so there's our battery now again they say that you're going to get uh, about nine miles of travel at the 10 miles an hour that they claim it can go um, however i go a lot faster than 10 miles an hour it's actually kind of hard to just go 10 miles an hour on this thing i'm typically going closer to like 12 to 15 and at that speed you're only going to get about six seven miles of range and that's pretty much been my experience up to this point so down here we have our foot pegs of course there's one on either side our front tire course and then we have our quick release so this is going to actually drop down the handlebars to make it a little bit more compact for storing away and then also uh, if you want to like take it somewhere uh, so i'll be taking it to the beach uh, going down the boardwalks and things like that this summer lots of fun can't wait for that not quite warm enough for that yet though. Uh, we have our front headlight and it's gonna automatically turn on. Um, I don't have it actually powered up at the moment. So we have around the other side, here we go, here's our little bell fun little bell. Here's our LED display so you can see it displays miles per hour. It also uh, shows our trip so of course I haven't gone anywhere and then it has a battery and then we click up here and it gonna, it's going to show us our odometer so up to this point we're up to 11 miles and you can just simply turn it on and off. Now once you turn it on uh, it's really from there just a twist of the throttle and you're going that's it. That's all there is to it in order to get it to go. So where you're going to charge this thing up is right down here so 
right there's where it's going to plug in so it uses an ac charger which unfortunately i forgot to bring and i also forgot to bring the cap for the battery because that does actually uh, have a cap so that you know that's not exposed to the weather it is ip54 certified i believe uh, which means you know you can go through a small maybe a little bit of sprinkle rain but you definitely do not want to take this through like large puddles or anything like that um, now when you're charging it it does take a about four to five hours to charge it up and right down here you can hardly see it but there is a very small LED light that will turn green when it's done charging now I will say that's just a small complaint for me because that LED light is quite hard to see um, even when it's kind of dark out it's it's kind of hard to really tell if it's actually charging uh, when uh, you're actually looking at that LED because it is so so small um, but other than that this is definitely a little bike e-bike that I would recommend a ton of fun now you are gonna look a little bit ridiculous while you're riding it but trust me everyone is going to literally be envious I have had so many people uh, stop me as they see me riding by asking me what this thing is and uh, I will say it's been a ton of fun to ride around one I would highly highly recommend uh, maybe you want to get the pro version that goes a little bit faster but for me honestly this one goes plenty fast for what I use it for awesome for a little commute or just a fun ride around the town. So definitely check it out. Link down in the description for Amazon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Gosh, this is fun. Does it look like me? Not really. Yeah, it does. It kind of does, but not really. Oh, I should totally have that motorcycle sound in the background. <laughs> Man, listen to this thing go.